Hi, welcome again to Elkhart, Indiana. Claude Donati here inside our showroom where we perform camping simulation. Today, what I'm doing is I'm giving you an outside walk around on the awesome Wraith Super C. And this floor plan is a 33W, the best floor plan in the industry. It's a double opposing slide in the living room, but like usual, my partner Dave Middleton will show you the inside of the vehicle. When we do the outside walk around, we start with what makes it all happen. And we build this product on a Durastar International chassis. We call it the Durastar Lite. It's a 300 horsepower Cummins engine that gives you a six-speed Allison transmission. This configuration can tow 10,000 pounds. It's built with the Continental tires that are 22 and a half inches, and you have Alcoa rims, aluminum rims in the unit. I always tell people that the International chassis, we chose it because of its, its power, we chose it because of the history of the company, and because of the curb appeal. When you look at the front of this unit, it has the chrome uh, grille, the chrome bumper, and the large uh, rear view mirror for the passenger and driver that's heated and remote. Another big reason we selected International is that this chassis, the company, makes all the, school, the most school buses in the industry and it is made to be serviced easily. And I'll give you an example of that. 27 pounds of pressure and you can lift up the hood and on the side of the where the hood has been lifted, you have access to all your fluid points. You can check everything you want to check on the engine from that area. Now the, the Wraith product is built with the front cab over entertainment or front cab over sleeping area that can be an option for an entertainment center. It's a pre-molded cap that wraps around the side of the unit so you don't have any worry about water infiltration. Let's check out the passenger side of this unit. Here we are on the 33W, which is a great floor plan. Passenger side, 100 gallon fuel tank. Let's talk a little bit about the construction of this unit. First off, we are the only manufacturer that uses a high strength, low alloy steel to frame the entire coach. It's 20 gauge, it's 72% stronger than aluminum. We've done our comparisons, and this is by far the best way to build a motorhome. What you get from that is what we call torsional rigidity. When you're driving down the road and a truck passes you or there's wind shear, you don't get the wobbly box feel when you drive a Nexus. We do this in all our products. But this unit, as you can see, is a vacuum bond laminated sidewall. It's got exterior fiberglass. It's got Asdell substrate, high density block foam, that steel tube I mentioned, and the interior wall board is also Asdell. It's all vacuum bond laminated together to give you the best sidewall in the industry. The roof is a seamless fiberglass wraparound roof. So it's got fiberglass on the top, then Asdell underneath it, high density block foam. You got your HVAC duct system. Dave will show you how that works on the inside of the unit. But that is a five inch thick roof that tapers down to two and three quarter and vacuum bonded laminated together. No wood product anywhere in our sidewall or our roofs. Industry exclusive. Because you have 22 and a half inch tires, you got a raised rail. So you're gonna, I'll show you a few of the compartments. Um, you have big saddleback storage and it gives you a pass through as well. Um, you have a acrylic handrail as you're walking in and out of the unit. And on this unit, you have about a 13 inch patio awning that's electric and it's got LED lighting. And this has the optional outside entertainment center. And this also has the optional side view cameras. As we continue to walk to the rear of the unit, a reminder, we have the aluminum rims on the uh, 22 inch rear tires. As we continue down the passenger side of the unit, you have big, huge cavernous storage compartments, compartments all the way on the back that pass through. So you have the ability to put tables and fishing poles and really, really long items, unlike you would get in a normal Class C. So don't think you're giving up storage when you go to a Super C, because you're not. Now let's take a look at the back of this unit. Here we are on the back of the 33W. Like we tell you in all our videos, we don't cut corners back here like a lot of manufacturers do. So you have the fully laminated rear wall on the Wraith. You have the nice, beautiful window that you can look out the rear. And on all our framed windows, we use an automotive window seal. We call it the no squeak, no leak window seal. So it, it prevents any kind of strange movement in your window that causes water infiltration. On the Wraith, you have a four by four chrome bumper that's um, overlapped by steel is in the underside of this. And you have a 10,000 pound hitch that we've talked about before. 
You also have the safest rear view lights out there. Your tail lights are LED. They're big, so when you hit them, everybody's gonna see it. On the back of our race, we have a pre-molded eyebrow that prevents any water infiltration from the transition from the roof to the rear wall. And you have your backup monitor that's adjustable. So if you wanna put it down on your cargo, you can look at what you're, you're towing, or if you wanna use it as a rear view mirror, you can adjust it to be that for you. Let's take a look at the driver's side. Here we are on the driver's side of the 33W. Exciting features over on this side. You have your Anderson valve, you have your outside shower, you have the pass-through storage compartment that I showed you on the other side. You also have a huge uh, dump station that allows you to have your black and gray tanks enclosed. Huge cavernous area for your extensions, your gloves, any tools you may want to have. One of the best features we have is you have a lot of room to work when you have to do the nasty job of dumping your motorhome. As we move forward, I want to tell everybody, we go to Sherman Williams, who developed the paint specifically for RV application. It's floor color, deluxe paint, two layers of gel coat. This is made, and it looks beautiful, as you can see in the video. This is um, among three different choices you have of paint, but right now, we have the best paint job in the industry. Also, what's standard on this coach is an 8,000 watt Onan generator. This is something that uh, is tied to your diesel fuel tank, and as long as you have a quarter of a tank of gas, you can run your generator and you can boondock. As long as you have the fuel, it runs the entire coach and gives you everything you need there. So this is the best floor plan, the 33W Wraith Super C. Dave, show them the inside of the unit. Hi, Dave Middleton once again, co-founder here at Nexus RV. As my partner showed you the outside, I'd love to show you the inside. This is our 33W Super C. This floor plan does so well and we've implemented it throughout our lineup because of the opposing slide giving you a large living area. I like to start in the cockpit so you can see what International has done on this Super C. They've redesigned the dash, the buttons are very large, user friendly, easy, everything's a touch of a button. And then we cap it off with our driver passenger seats. Instead of just recovering the standard truck seats, we pay to have upgraded driver passenger seats because you're going to spend many, many miles. So that's a nice upgrade, cushion, soft. And then the last thing looking at the window is the panoramic view you receive in the International. There's some Super C's out there that are more like a Class C. They set lower, the windshield's smaller. This gives you the view you're looking for as you see this beautiful country of ours. Looking up top here, this is standard with a bunk mat that you can have for sleeping. This one was optioned with the cab over storage. This is something that we implemented. Instead of just mounting the TV to the wood, we put it on hinge, we frame it, and now we give you all this storage. So many manufacturers waste that, but they like to cut a corner, save a few bucks, and not have to worry about it. We finish it off so you can put your valuables up there because it's a lot of space. And then on each side, you have storage, and you have all your equipment for your DVD player, your satellite dish, and then we do the plexiglass so you can leave that closed while you're watching TV and it'll still work. Your remotes will still work through the plexiglass. As we come around to the dinette area, I always like to point out, this is an area where manufacturers like to skimp. What I mean by that is they will not put a bank of storage uh, up above. They like to pitch that we want to open it up for your viewing throughout the win with the windows. Well, as you can see, we're not blocking any of the windows. We even put windows on each side of the slide and then a nice big one so you're not, your view's not obstructed. They say that, but all they're trying to do is save money and not add the bank of wardrobe. We do that across the board. Uh, the dinette booth, nice soft touch dinettes. We take and we've got brand new uh, countertops, kitchen countertops, new flooring, new fabrics, new interior wallboard, new valances. Across the board, we've done a total revamp and the customers are loving what we're doing. This here is shown in the dark forest and with the chocolate furniture. You have MCD shades standard throughout, nice valances. And then as you come to the kitchen, we do the 30 inch. I always point this out because a lot of manufacturers, we could save a ton of money by going to the small one, but they're not usable. We want you to be able to have a user-friendly convection microwave that you can actually put things in and cook for your family. Another thing we've done this year is gone to the glass stove top. It's a three burner with a glass stove top. Nice upgrade. This tucks back here and it acts as a backsplash while you're cooking. And then when you travel, it goes on the rubber cleats. And the nice thing about it is versus the old stove tops that had the metal where it was a rattle box, we've eliminated that. 
Then if you do the option for the oven, it's stainless steel. So it gives you a nice look, nice upgrade. Then you come over to the kitchen. We always like to point out nice, big, deep farm sink with the overhead faucet, making it easier to do pots and pans and actually fit things in the sink when you're trying to do your dishes. You come around here, nice two door refrigerator. It's Dometic, plenty of storage, and then you have a nice separate freezer. This is also nice because we give you a pantry. That's one thing I know the ladies love. They want a pantry, they want a pantry. We do a nice pantry with adjustable shelves. We can do a pull out, but we're finding more customers want the adjustable shelves because if they're putting larger items, we can add shelves and you actually get more storage by doing adjustable shelves versus slide out pantry. As we come in through here, coming into the bedroom, it's a split bath, but I'll do the, uh, the bedroom and then I'll end up at the bathroom. As you come into the master suite, I always talk about this, you have a bank of drawers, you have his and her wardrobe, and then again, we did hidden storage back here. Going back to the other manufacturers, they mount a piece of wood or mount their TV to the wood, they don't worry about this, but this is a huge space that we like to maximize for you. And if you wanna put something back there that you wanna try and hide or keep safe, people don't even know it's there. Coming around, you got a walk around bed, big rear window, you have a nice big king size bed with a overhead window. And then again, for cross ventilation, we've done the windows there as well. The other thing I wanna point out is ducted roof air conditioning. Everybody has ducted air, but how we separate is we do a true HVAC back duct system. So it runs the total length of your coach and the air truly stays in your ductwork. Over time, three, four years, you go to fire up your air conditioner, that's when you smell the mold, the mildew, that's because in the others, it, the uh, condensation absorbs into the insulation. With ours, that doesn't happen. Reduce condensation, any condensation that does happen stays in the ductwork. If you like, you can have the duct doctor come in and you can clean our ducts just like your home. That's an area that people don't think about because they all see the vents and think, oh, it's ducted. Ours is true residential HVAC back duct system. The other thing I want to show you is with the split bath, you can close this off, you close this door off, and now you have total usable space with your commode and your shower. Your commode, we always use a porcelain toilet, no plastic, nice big countertop, and then his and her medicine cabinet. This is something that you don't find. Manufacturers will stick one small one in, call it a day, but again, we know the few of you are gonna be traveling, so we do wanna make sure you have plenty of space. Nice big countertop, storage underneath, so you can put all your essentials there. Going over here, nice radio glass shower door. We offer it in a glass as well as a hard vinyl. This is with the upgraded glass, and the nice thing to point out about the shower is it's a molded one piece, a residential style one piece molded shower. So again, 33 foot folks, We've done all the changes requested by customers and our dealers getting the feedback. We're listening to you. We appreciate you taking the time. If there's anything we can do, call our 800 number, call your local dealer. We're gonna work hard during your business. Thank you for taking the time to view this video.